The Thompson submachine gun is a fully automatic 45 ACP submachine gun using a friction delayed blowback action developed by John T. Thompson in 1918. And Thompson was the gun of choice by soldiers, criminals, police, FBI, and civilians from the 1920s to the 1950s. And there's probably a lot of things you know about the Thompson machine gun, but what we're gonna take a look at, we're gonna take a look at the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Thompson machine gun. Number one. Originally designed for the heavy trench warfare, World War I, however, the successful design of the Thompson machine gun was completed two days before the end of World War I and dubbed the trench gun, but it was actually never used in World War I. Number two, Thompson's envision was the product of the work and financial security of John Thompson. However, it was Theodore Tickoff, George Goyle, and Oscar Payne who originally designed this. Although it was Oscar Payne who designed the gun itself, as well as its infamous drum magazine. Number three, during the design stages, the gun was called the Annihilator, marketed to the military under the name the Trench Broom. But following the war, while trying to find a new market for the Annihilator, that's when it took on its new name. Having that marketing issue, post-World War I, not being able to call it the Trench Broom, they then called it the Thompson Machine Gun. Number four, Thompson machine gun is also referred to as the Tommy gun, the Chicago typewriter, Chicago machine gun, the Chicago organ grinder, the trench broom, the trench sweeper, the drum gun, the chopper, the Thompson. All these names were dubbed for the Thompson primarily because of its use. Number five, following World War I, with the need to market the Tommy gun to a new group of people, the very first government purchase of the Thompson machine gun was in large numbers by the U.S. Postal Service, which at the time was seeing a spike in armed robberies of post offices. Number six, first military to use the Thompson machine gun was used by the U.S. Marines in the Banana Wars in South America and the Caribbean, following the Spanish-American War during U.S. occupation of these Latin countries. U.S. Marines took on the strategies and tactics of small wars. Number seven, the first time the Tommy gun was used in the Chicago crime was in 1925, shot by Frank McCurlin. And he shot at Spike O'Donnell, and he blasted the wall around O'Donnell, missing O'Donnell altogether and causing the police to later believe there were multiple shooters of the 1911. Number eight, for the obvious reasons, this gun was very much preferred by mobsters throughout Chicago era, as well as gangland America. However, what they loved to do was take the stock off for shooting from vehicles, being able to take this gun into four parts and fit it into instrument cases, the violin case being the most famous of all. Number nine. In 1938, the Tommy gun was adopted by the U.S. military from World War II. There were two types, the M1928A1, which had a box and drum mag, and had cut compensators on the barrel, used a delayed blowback action, and had its charging handle on top of the receiver. And then there was the M1A1, which had no cooling cuts, used only box magazines, used a straight blowback action, and the charging handle was on the side of the receiver. And finally, number 10. With almost 60 countries, military and police using the Thompson machine gun, there were 20 different variants, including Tommy guns, that not only fired the 45 ACP, but also the 351 WSL, the 30 carbine, and what I'd like to get a hold of the 30-06, which was intended to rival the M1918 bar. So there you go. There's the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Thompson machine gun. I'd like to thank Blue Steel Guns in Raytown, Missouri for loaning me this Thompson machine gun. It was an absolute pleasure to shoot. If you haven't had the chance, I highly recommend it. They actually rent this gun. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel through Patreon, that link is below. But the most important part of this channel we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.